In the series Gundam Wing, Zex Marquis realizes that the Gundams are designed to operate at such high performance levels that normal mobile suits simply cannot compete with them. So he seeks out a comparably high performance machine, and that search leads him to the original prototype mobile suit, the Toggies. In Gundam Wing, the Tall Geese is pretty much the original mobile suit, but as designed, was found to operate at a level that was considered too high for general use. Now, before you say, that's stupid, why would they do that? Remember that Lockheed Martin has been paid $1.5 trillion to develop and produce a fifth generation jet fighter? that is so fast and so powerful that they have to develop and implement safeguards to prevent the fighter from killing the pilot while they are piloting it. So, yeah, the Toggies being too powerful to be used by the general military? Yeah, I can see that. The Toggies design was pretty much abandoned in a partly built state, stuck in a storage shed, and the smaller Leo design was standardized. Believing the Toggies would allow him to face the Gundams face to face, Zex commissioned the completion of the Toggies. His first use of the completed Toggies demonstrated how far beyond the standard mobile suit designs the Toggies actually is. When it is found that pushing himself to use its ultra high speed, Zex suffers a heart attack. Remember that Zex was known for performing maneuvers in normal mobile suits that typical soldiers could not perform and still survive. And now here is a mobile suit that is so far more powerful than that, that without further training and conditioning, Zex could die from using it. This is where the character on this page shows up as a feature in the story, Lieutenant Otto. Otto was the officer in charge of completing the Toggies and delivered it to Zex. Zex had initially tried to use the Toggies in support of Oz's operation to retank the Sank Kingdom from Alliance control, but that was when he suffered that little uh, heart attack. Lieutenant Otto overheard Zex talking about the power of the Toggies, and came to the conclusion that if the Toggies was to be used to free the Sank Kingdom, quote unquote, mind you, then it would need someone who was willing to die to achieve that end. So, he steals the Toggies, declares that he will sacrifice his life to free the Saint Kingdom, and proceeds to plow into the Alliance headquarters at the Saint Kingdom, destroying it. It's never actually stated in the series or the manga, but this act kind of suggests that Otto knew that Zex was actually the heir to the Saint Kingdom, Miliardo and that Otto himself either came from the kingdom or had grown to admire the ideals of the Peacecraft family, hence why he chose to sacrifice himself for the kingdom. This is one of the things I like about the Gundam Wing series. Uh, they do kind of dip their toes in character complexities a lot, in a lesser written show, Zex would very firmly be the bad guy, and Otto his loyal lieutenant. You know, but Gundam Wing, Zex is portrayed to be driven and charismatic, but with his flaws. He longs for the home he had as a child, but realizes that what he has done and become as an adult makes it impossible for him to ever live there again. Pretty much the embodiment of you can never go home. It kind of reminds me of the operative from Serenity and his monsters don't get to go to paradise mentality and justification. Zex absolutely believes without a doubt that if the world does achieve peace, he will not be able to live in it. So instead he fights to achieve that, but also to die in the effort. Otto himself is inspired by that goal and so follows Zex with the passion of a zealot.
or you know it's Gundam Wing I have no idea it sits on this weird kind of hill between you know silly Saturday morning cartoon and well-written epic so it's pretty much up to the viewer just how sophisticated you want to give the credit the series credit for being you know the series is what served as my first real introduction to the mecha genre so for me it's got a place in my heart that's reserved this particular painting is a coloring job of a page of the Gundam Wing Glory of the Losers manga. And the page is from the part of the story I was talking about, where Otto steals the tall geese and assaults the Saint Kingdom. I tried to color the tall geese in colors based on the Verkai version of it. The biggest difference there being the gold detailing on the shoulders and shield. For the Ares, I used colors from the uh, anime itself of the Alliance and then had to pretty much obscure and tint those colors because, you know, the Ares is being destroyed in that panel. So there we go. We have a new page from Gundam Wing, Glory of the Losers. If you enjoyed this speed painting, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. You can also click that subscribe button down there to get notified when I post new videos. If you want to help me out and support the channel more directly, you can donate through Patreon. The links to all of my social media are below in the description.